In this video, we're going to look at calculating a couple more uh, geometric series using uh, the formula s equals a over 1 minus r. So I should note that these are infinite geometric series. All we need is that common ratio to be less than 1. So a couple ways from which they can be written. So in this one, we go from 0 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n. Well, that we could, if we wanted to, rewrite as 1 third to the n. So what that shows us is our common ratio is one-third. So this one we can do, we need to calculate the first term. Always calculate the first term. Plugging zero in for n gives us one-third to the zero, or one, over one minus one-third. So one over two-thirds, flip and multiply, and we get a sum of three-halves. Now this one, if you start to do out terms as written, this is not going to be geometric because you won't see a common ratio. But properties of sums are going to be applied here because what I can do is I can split this up 3 to the n over 4 to the n plus 2 over 4 to the n. Still an infinite. And now I can split those into two separate summations. So the first one is going to be 3 to the n over 4 to the n which I can rewrite as 3 fourths to the n. That's definitely geometric with a common ratio less than 1 plus infinite sum of 2 over 4 to the n. This is, a, this is also geometric. 2 is not being raised to the n but the 4 is so if I wanted to I could rewrite that so the first one we've already said is 3 fourths to the n and both of these are starting at zero. We do want to t pay attention to that when we go to sum them. Plus, we could rewrite this one as two times one-fourth to the n. These will start at zero and go up to infinity. So now we're going to apply our formula in each of these. Remember, always calculate your first term. At zero, three-fourths to the zero is one. So the first one is going to be 1 over 1 minus our common ratio, which is 3 fourths, plus, now here the first term, when we put in 0, this becomes 1, but times 2 is actually going to be 2 over 1 minus just the common ratio. Notice there's no 2 in there. That's just a multiple, so the 2 only appears on top. So we're going to have 1 over 1 fourth, plus 2 over 3 fourths. That's just doing the subtraction on bottom. We're going to flip both those and multiply. So here we're just going to end up with 4 plus 2 times 4 thirds or 8 thirds. So I have 12 thirds, finding a common denominator, plus 8 thirds for a total of 20 thirds. So look for that uh, splitting up the into two series. And it could be possible this one's to the n2, and so this one would be, and you'd find your common uh, ratio that way. But you'll see this a lot when you're calculating infinite geometric series. You need to split it up into two separate infinite geometric series.